I want to thank you all for joining us today. I am so incredibly proud to be standing here with our council president, Bernard C. Jack Young. Yay! I want to personally thank you for your leadership during this budget uh, season. I want to thank you for your willingness to work in collaboration toward our shared goals for our city. I also want to thank the many council members who are here. I want to thank council, the, the Dean of the City Council, Councilwoman Ricky Spector. I want to thank Councilwoman Mary Pat Clark, Councilwoman uh, Sharon Green Middleton, Councilwoman Helen Holton, Councilman Eric Costello, Councilman Pete Welch, and Councilman Carl Stokes. Did I miss any council people? Did I get, get thank you very much. I have to mention, even though he's late, Councilman Bill Henry. Oh, I'm getting to him in oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is, we're not we're not in the 14th. Oh, what is this? I'm just, I only I'm wish. just teasing you. So I also want to thank the representatives from back the Baltimore Education Coalition and members of our youth commission. I, I can't tell you how proud I am of the work of our youth commission and I also encourage those who might know some young people who want to be involved in the youth commission to get in touch with them because they are, are tr they're true leaders of the next generation and I'm, I'm grateful for all of their hard work. I also want to thank the uh, members of the Baltimore's Teachers Union who I know are doing the countdown to the 15th. Thank you very much. <laughs> I also want to thank the Maryland Out of School Time Network and I want to thank the members of BUILD who are here. Uh, I want to thank everyone for being here for an announcement that will greatly improve Baltimore City's ability to give our young people the opportunity that they need and the opportunities that they deserve. From an historic billion dollar investment in new schools to the construction of the first new recreation centers in 10 years in our city and an unprecedented number of summer job placements for our young adults, I've made it a priority to expand opportunities for Baltimore's young people because we know that when our young people are safe and they are engaged, they are in the best position to learn and to grow. But we also know that far too often our young people are still looking for a safe place to go before and after school. When I first entered office, it was uh, under crisis. We were, the city was in crisis. We faced a historic $750 million structural budget deficit. We had to make a number of very difficult budget decisions. And it was because of those hard choices that today we are able to announce $4.2 million in new funding Woo! for our young people. Yeah! Yeah! This announcement is only possible after many conversations with my colleagues on the City Council and many, many, many uh, conversations with a number of community partners dedicated to improving outcomes for our young people. I want to thank everyone on the council, especially Council President Young, Councilwoman Helen Holton, Councilwoman Mary Pat Clark, and Councilman Bill Henry for their hard work Yay. in making this happen. Yay. And again, I want to thank our partners at Beck and the Maryland Out of School Time Network and Build for their commitment to the city's future. The only way that we can do this is together. And it's absolutely vital that we, conti we continue to support each other. I, I hope the council people remember those tough years when we had to make those tough budget decisions. And so many of you stood by me because you believed that it was possible for us to right this ship, that our, our budget didn't have to be in free fall, but if we made the tough decisions and the right decisions right then, when those, those issues confronted us, we could be at a place like we are today. So I want to thank you all for being courageous and for being on the right side of history so we can make these types of investments in our young people. We have fought tooth and nail to put the city in a place where we could make these, like I said, these types of investments. And I, can, and I personally commit to continue to make decisions that will put Baltimore in the position to increase funding towards these much needed programs without leveraging our city's financial future. And I want to thank the council again because, because you stood up 
with me and made those tough decisions. Not only are we in a position to, to invest over $4 million in additional funds for our young people, but we also have the highest bond rating that the city's had in decades, I think in over four decades, because of this work. So it's, it, it is very clear that we can both right our fiscal ship, improve our city's financial uh, fiscal condition, and also put ourselves in the position to make these new uh, investments. We have to make sure that we're, we continue to do these things so we do not have to leverage our children's future. I want to thank you all again for being bold, for being courageous, and for being strong partners for our children's future. And with that, I would like to bring up my partner, the one who was sitting at the table. And I, wouldn't, I would say twisting arms, but you didn't have to twist the arm. You had a very willing partner to try to find a way to make this happen for Baltimore's young people. The leader of the city council, Council President Jack Young. Thank you, uh, Madam Mayor. Uh, good morning. Morning. Let us please pause and take a moment to recognize the bright minds gathered here for today's announcement. These young people, as well as their peers who are sitting in classrooms throughout this city, stand to benefit from this much needed funding. And I would like to, all of us, I would like for all of us to give a round of applause for our young shining stars. I would like to thank Mayor, Mayor Rollins Blake for being open and receptive to the ideas of increasing funding for vital out of school time programs in Baltimore. Madam Mayor, thank you for being an excellent partner with regards to this budget request. These additional funds represent an exciting investment in the health and well being of Baltimore's children. I also like to thank the Baltimore Education Coalition, the Family League, Build, and Associated Black Charities who have been on the forefront of this important request for our children's um, education, I mean our children's future. A little more than a month ago, the city council unanimously passed a resolution calling on the city of Baltimore to increase funding for out of school time programming to the tune of $4.2 million. We're here today to announce that. With the support of the mayor, we have made good on that request. As we stand here today, the council is poised to pass the mayor's fiscal year 2016 budget proposal, which, which I would like to point out includes the additional funding. And I would like to personally thank and recognize Councilwoman Helen Holton, the best budget chairwoman of any legislative body around. <laughs> Councilwoman, <laughs> Councilwoman, thank you very much for standing up for the needs of our children and for being an excellent partner in progress. This additional $4.2 million reaffirms our commitment to Baltimore's children by making a down payment on a brighter future for more of our city students. With more than a decade of research on our side, our choice is crystal clear. Out of time school, out, out, out of school time programs provide real opportunities for our students to thrive in academic environment that are enjoyable, safe, and nurturing. Every minute is precious when you're working to help students thrive and achieve their full potential. We know that every dollar spent on providing our children with quality out of school time programming is a dollar well spent. According to information compiled by the After School Alliance and research conducted by the Baltimore Education Research Consortium, an evaluation of more than 60 after school programs in the Baltimore area found that students who regularly attend out of school time programs were less likely to be chronically absent from school than their non-participating peers and were more likely to be, to be promoted to the next grade than non-participant. Let us think about that for a second. We're talking about programming with proven outcomes that help boost academic success for a majority of the students who participate Folks, this is as close to a no-brainer as it gets. Today's announcement is proof positive that Baltimore cares about the health of our children. Again, I would like to thank Mayor Rollins Blakes for partnering with the City Council to turn this request into reality. Into reality. And I would also like to thank Councilwoman Helen Holton for, for her leadership um, in making sure that we were able to sit down with the mayor and administration to make sure that we got the 4.2 million for our children. And with that, I would like to introduce 
the chairwoman of the Budget Committee, Councilwoman Helen Holton. Thank you, Council President Young, Madam Mayor, my colleagues on the City Council. This year we took on the budget process, putting in place a different approach to really be all on one accord, working together for the good of the <coughs> citizens of Baltimore. And it would not have happened without the support and concurrence of Mayor Stephanie Rawlings-Blake and Council President C. Bernard Jack Young. It wasn't easy, but we were all committed to the same end result. And I think we have accomplished that today on behalf of our future, which are our children, because any effort that we do that is not about them is not an effort worthy of moving Baltimore forward into a bright and prosperous future. So I just want to thank everyone for doing their part. I know sometimes it was long and tedious, but we got through it, and Baltimore City will be the better for it. So thank you so much. Um, and I'd like to bring to the podium Roxanne Allen from the Baltimore Education Coalition. Could you acknowledge that Bill Henry is here? Oh, and Councilman Bill Henry has joined us. Roxanne Allen? Oh, okay. Good morning. It is with pleasure that I join you here this morning. The Baltimore Education Coalition would sincerely like to thank Mayor Stephanie Rollins Blake, Council President Jack Young, and all city council members for the collective leadership efforts of all, of all to increase the dollars that will, that will be invested in the community school strategy and after school programs. The community school strategy makes a difference in the lives of children by ensuring that schools have the additional resources and services that students need, such as mentoring, health services, and after-school programs. Just recently, three of Baltimore community schools were nationally recognized for their outstanding service. The strategy is currently operating in 47 schools. The new funding will allow these supportive services an opportunity to expand to other schools and reach more students. As a country focused on our city, we can proudly revel in the leadership of Baltimore City, which has shown great resiliency through very tough and turbulent times. The BEC and the citizens of Baltimore stand here with you today, excited and motivated by the new $4.2 million expansion, which represents new opportunities for children. Again, we thank you, Mayor, City Council President, City Council members, and a very special thank you to Mary Pat Clark, Bill Henry, and Chairwoman Halton. Not all of Baltimore City Schools children have a school where they have access to community schools and after school time programming. Our mayor is showing great leadership by increasing her investment. We urged, we urgently need the governor to also invest in our youth. We look forward to the day when all of the elected leaders are finding ways to increase engagement and supportive opportunities for the youth of Baltimore. Thank you. And next, I'm going to introduce my partner, which is Ellie Mitchell from, out of, from um, Merlin Out of School Town. Thank you, Roxanne. On behalf of most, the Maryland Out of School Time Network, I want to thank the mayor, the city council president, all the members of the city council for their leadership on this issue. Most advocates for more and better after school programs. And today we are excited that the announcement of $4.2 million in new resources helps achieve both of those goals. After school and summer programs are critical supports. A student spends 80% of their time outside of the school day. Out of school time programs keep young people safe, connect them to caring adults, and most importantly, provide the opportunities to build the social and academic skills that make young people career and college ready. As a member of the Baltimore Education Coalition, we also want to thank the many advocates, including young people, who have called for the expansion of community school and out-of-school time strategy. Nelson Mandela said, there can be no keener revelation of a society's soul than the way in which it treats its children. With that in mind, we will keep working until every child in Baltimore City 
has access to both the in-school and out-of-school time opportunities they need to learn, thrive, and succeed. Thank you to everyone who made this possible. All right, again, I want to uh, thank the students here at Carver. Can we give them a big hand? Thank them. I want to thank all of the leadership here at Carver. I want to thank Dr. Thornton, who's been a great partner to make sure that we are working in collaboration to ensure positive outcomes for our kids. I want to thank all of the uh, advocates who are here who have worked so hard to get us to this day. And I want to thank... Um, Oh, yeah, thank you very much. I you missed it. I I say I thank no, Bill. I, I, just, I was running a little late. Got here. But. I had your back. I I announced that y'all were here. Thank you very much. You want you want two intros? You, I'm messing with you, Bridget. I also want to um, again thank the leadership of the council. I can't stress this enough. We would not be in this position if I didn't have partners who were willing to do what it takes in tough times to make the, to make the uh, proper, the tough, the hard, but, but the right decisions to uh, right our fiscal ship so we could be in this position where we could make additional investments. I can't thank you enough uh, for standing up, for doing the right thing, so now we're in the position to stand up in, in new ways for our young people. So this is a, a great day, a wonderful announcement, and I'm looking forward to a lot more uh, down the road. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you.